Well, hey everybody, it's that time again, Matthew Monday. And as promised, I'm gonna do another show and tell today. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Happy Monday, as happy as a Monday can be. I have another bass guitar for you today because I had some really nice response from people out there saying they love my show and tell with the turquoise bass, my turquoise Jackson. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of custom instruments that were made for me. The Jackson was one of them. This is another one, and it's actually pretty cool because my brother and I, yes, Gunner, decided to have a trio of guitars made at the Fender Guitars Custom Shop. Growing up in Southern California, seeing our dad uh, play Fenders all his life, James Burton, the great guitar player, kind of helped to make Fender a very successful company, and it's really an iconic company in America and stuff like that, but right down the street, uh, Fender Guitars, from where I was living in Los Angeles, and right down the street is about 45 minutes away, California, right down the street. They had a custom shop, and the custom shop was where they had their, their best guitar builders. I think at the time there were six of them uh, that used to be in special cubicles, and they would take custom orders from players all over the world. I mean, you name it, everybody that is a somebody was playing a custom shop Fender guitar, but more importantly, the master built custom shop. That's those people I was talking about because they also had a line that was like an assembly line. Those are called team built. But if you were fortunate enough to have one of their master builders and there were senior master builders, that's another thing, kind of another level up, that would take on a project and you could actually custom order guitars or basses exactly how you wanted. And Gunnar and I ordered a Fender Precision Bass Stratocaster and Telecaster as a trio. It actually made the Fender Guitars custom shop calendar that year for the NAMM show, which is a big music merchants show that they have every year. So it was kind of neat. And instantly, our trio became kind of like a little famous thing. Gunner still plays the Telecaster to this day, uh, occasionally records a lot actually with the, uh, with the Stratocaster. And for a few years now, I have gone out and I have played this Fender Precision Bass that I designed with Senior Master Builder, who built the other ones, John Cruz. And the thing that's cool about this is every single piece of this guitar, which is a relatively new guitar that looks like a 19, early 1957 Fender Precision Bass, that maybe the custom shop or Leo Fender back then would have been experimenting with parts. So I call it the Skunk Works Bass. And the Fender Precision, I still think, is one of the greatest instruments ever built. Same thing with the Stratocaster and the Tele. So I don't want to get any fights with anybody, but the body has been selected for lightweight. It took John about eight months to do that for this particular bass. The pickups were hand wound by Abigail Yabara, who was a legend. She'd been there since Fender first opened. She was a very, an elderly lady. Uh, the, the circuit is, well, first of all, swing through the body for better sustain. Got John Cruz's signature right here, which is kind of neat. All of this aging, has been done to this base, not just by me, but it came this way. They call them relics, and believe it or not, people pay extra to have something relic to look like it's got funk and soul built into it. So uh, I specified a narrow nut up here, which is the neck width for me, and the headstock from an early 57, and John Cruz's signature right on the back of the headstock. So everything from the wear on the back of the neck, the body wear, all this stuff, super lightweight base, this is a 100% custom built base that looks like it's been around for over 50 years. Kind of cool too, because uh, the circuit is different. It's an 18 volt active preamp. If I need it for kind of a modern sound and for that kind of cool vintage sound, it just goes regular. And this is one of my favorite things in the whole world. Kind of neat, huh? Every time I play this, it's kind of fun to remember those times I would go down to the custom shop with John and we penciled everything out. This is what I want. This is how we want to do it. And I'd go down and visit and see how the progress was coming. So there you go. So it's a little, little longer video for you, but uh, there it is. The 1957 master built John Cruz Fender Custom Shop precision base for me, Matt Nelson. Pretty awesome. Anyways, I hope you're doing well. Have a great week, everybody. Take care, smile for me, and God bless. Bye-bye.